before the live draw along on Thursday, I thought I'd do a briefing of the little alpaca that I've chosen to draw. Um, we're going to draw him on drafting film and I'm going to use the graphics 0 0.005 double matte drafting film. Now, if you can't get hold of that, you can use the Polydraw, which you can get from Amazon. You can use the Graphics Duralar. Duralar is not the same as the Graphics Drafting Film. It's much smoother. It's uh, a similar thickness, but it's it, it you can't get as many layers on it. Um, you can, if you prefer, use um, Pastel Matte. Uh, you can use smooth paper, you can use whatever you like. I'm going to be using drafting film. I'm going to be using a lot of subtraction techniques on this piece. So we're going to be looking at, in the fur areas here, putting colour in and then taking out the actual uh, highlighty bits in there. And that's how we're going to create those curls and the texture and everything like that. I'm going to draw the whole piece out, including the wood at the bottom. And I want to start with... Um, a Usually I'd start with the eyes, but with done eyes, I really want to kind of get into this curly bit here. Uh, and actually, I'd like to draw this piece as a whole. Um, what I might do is do bits of it during the live draw, and then I might do add-on bits that I'll upload onto YouTube so that you get the whole tutorial. But it'd be quite nice to do the whole piece. Uh, the reason I've chosen drafting film is because it's just a really great surface for texture. It, it's such a great surface for texture. It's so nice to get your pencil down on there. The pencil goes down really smoothly. You can get these lovely soft areas around the edges. You can get darks in there. You can get lights in there. And it's just a really, really fantastic surface. Um, so I wanted to also talk about colour, how I choose my colours. Now with this piece, I want to choose, I don't want to choose too many colours. So we're going to go with black. We're going to go with dark sepia, sepia, definitely, absolutely. We're probably going to go with buff titanium. Um, I'd say burnt ochre, buff titanium luminance, um, burnt ochre polychromos, probably burnt ochre, burnt sienna luminance. Um, I'm thinking probably the brown ochre 10% luminance. I do like luminance on the drafting film. It does work very nicely. The only thing about luminance on the drafting film, it doesn't come off quite as easily as something like a polychromo. So I may kind of stick with the with the polys. It's these areas around here that the the luminance, like the um, raw umber ten percent, the burnt sienna ten percent, those ten percents of the actual colours work so so well. Um, and it's those that those those sorts of tints that are missing from the polychromos range. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. So definitely warm grey four, warm grey three up in here. Um, down into this face area here, we've got some creams in there. Again, the raw umber 10% would be perfect for in here. Uh, then we've got greys in there. We've got these lovely cold greys and warm greys around the nose area. So this this I'm seeing as warm grey, this I'm seeing as a cooler grey. Um, and then when we come to kind of just put a little bit of this wood in, again, these colours actually are matching beautifully to the actual alpaca's fur. So we'll use the same colours. We've got these sort of burnt oakery bits in there. We've got some cool greys in here and we've got some sort of quite like dark sepia and maybe even a little bit of greeny colour in there as well. Um, who knows? Um, so I'm going to create an outline, uh, or I have created an outline of this piece. Um, in fact, I'll just open it up for you to have a look. So that is the outline, which isn't amazing. Um, it's created via an app called Colorscape. Um, I think I paid something like five pounds for it. And it's on my iPhone and I just open the app, upload the photo and this is what it gives me. And then I just save this back to my computer. Um, I'm thinking probably around 10 by 7 inches. Um, I'm going to try and get as much of the alpaca in there as I can in my initial drawing. What I'm going to try and do, if I remember, is I'm going to flip the image 
I'm going to draw the image on the back of the drafting film so that I, when I do, do my actual drawing on the front of the drafting film, I don't have to rub everything out and then I can just rub, rub it out on the back. Um, that, that's quite a good way of doing things, to be honest. Uh, so that's, that's kind of how I'm going to work that out. Um, I think we've got a little bit of the top of the ear missing, but that doesn't matter. Um, and what the aim of this piece, once we've finished it, is the the quality of the fur. So we've got all sorts of different furs going on in here. We've got the lovely soft fur on the ears and on the top of the head here. Really, really nice soft fur going on there. And then we've got into the face, we've got sort of, it's smoother. Um, there's a little bit more texture in there. We don't have the curl in there. It's starting to get a little bit fluffy around here. And then you've got on the nose here, let's just blow that up a little bit. On the, on the nose here, you've got this gorgeous velvety um, looking fur on the top of the nose there and that's what we want to be capturing uh, we want to get this lovely sort of out of focus blurry look in here which we should be able to get so the the tools that you'll need uh, for this piece are a Tombow mono eraser um, a Faber Castell pink perfection pencil if you've got one it doesn't matter if you haven't just use your your mono eraser uh, a, 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 a kneadable eraser um, and one of the slice tools so, you know, we will be using a blade at some point, but the majority of these curls on the top here are going to be made with an eraser. Uh, you know, we're going to put all of the pigment in first and then we're going to start picking out those lovely highlights with an eraser. Um, and actually, with sort of give it an hour and a half, couple of hours, something like that, we should get some really quite nice... Uh, texture in there and some really quite nice curl definition in there as well which will mean that you can you can go away and you can carry on with the rest of the curly bits um, and then the week after we'll look at getting these eyes in um, you know and then what I'll, or I might do the eyes separately load upload that as a separate tutorial um, and then we'll look at doing the sort of this area here this lovely fur area here um, and then we'll do the wood as well, which should be very exciting. So, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping you're going to join me on Thursday, seven o'clock. Um, have your outline ready. Don't worry too much about colours. Get some oranges, get some creams, get some greys. You know, that's that's all you're going to need, really. Um, most importantly, uh, an eraser. If you're using smooth paper, you'll, you'll be able to do a very similar technique. And if you're using pastel mat, Go for white pastel mat, go for the board if you can because it's smoother and again you'll be able to use the sim a very similar technique. It's not going to be quite as easy as on the drafting film um, but it's all about that subtraction, getting the highlights out. So putting your pigment in, bringing that hi uh, the highlights back out. So um, yeah, looking forward to seeing you on Thursday and um, we're... Yeah, I'm really looking forward for this little alpaca actually getting all of those curls on the drafting film. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a good one is this one.